Hello Plex lovers, this video is going to be about Plex migration, exporting Plex from one NAS to another NAS, either it's WD, QNAP, Synology, Asus Store or Terramaster, either it's from one brand to another brand or from one brand to very same brand. Uh, also I'm going to add um, location um, sort of locations about um, where Plex can be found on other systems, not just a NAS, uh, like Windows or Linux or um, Shield TV at the very last slide, but in this video I'm just going to focus more on a NAS to NAS uh, Plex transfers. So this guide is going to be based on um, Plex uh, created a guide that uh, you can find on Plex TV. You can see links uh, down below how to move uh, Plex to another system. And also there is link uh, where to find these uh, Plex files on different various systems. So let's begin. Uh, how do you, what do you start with? So first you will need to get into your management system. If you know how to do it, you can skip this slide. If not, then um, with WD, if you go W2, EX2 or PR series, you can go to mycloud.com slash setup. It's going to scan your network for uh, existing NAS is available there, connected to your network, so you can pick one you got, and now you're going to be thrown into a management console. With QNAP, you go to QFinder, with SnowG, you download SnowG Assistant app, uh, with, or go to find.snowg.com. With Terramaster, you do TNAS PC, and Asus Store, you, you download Asus Store CC app. These, this is how they look uh, like. So once you have got into your NAS, you can move on to a installation. So First of all, you will need to install NAS on your new NAS, install the Plex app on your new NAS, and uh, well, once you have installed it, make sure you disable it. Um, you can find this Plex app on WD, App Store, on, on, on Terramaster, Keen, App Snowg, and Asus Store, uh, but once you have installed it, you go, make sure you go into Admin Panel, go to Installed Apps on WD, and um, click uh, Run App off mode, so it's uh, disabled on WD, stop on Thermaster, um, stop on QNAP and Synology the same, and on Asus Store, you go to installed apps and then uh, click on the switch to disable the app to, to, to turn it off. So once you have done that, you can uh, start migrating data to a new server, otherwise if you don't, uh, someone who is connecting already to the server, they might be altering the files, uh, metadata uh, files, any temporary files and um, and anything related. The same thing need to be done actually on the source NAS as well. So where you're going to migrate your files from, make sure you disable um, the Plex server there as well. So everything static from source uh, and ending with destination. And once you have disabled that, you can move on uh, you can move on to data transfer. So also make sure you sign out of the Plex so when you go to Plex app, and when you open it up, there's on the right hand corner, there's going to be drop down where you can actually sign out from the NAS. So then we can move on to actual um, file transfer bit. So the easy bit is with Synology, Asus Store and Termaster because you can find Plex uh, very easily on the file station. It's one of the folders there, Plex. Asus Store is the same, you go to uh, Plex, uh, library, you'll find a folder there and uh, Terramaster as well. You go to admin, slightly more complicated with Terramaster. You need to go to admin, click on a user uh, on, on this uh, uh, breadcrumbs bar. <laughs> so you click on the user and then you will find the Plex and then home and then the library there. It's organized differently, is as based on users rather than locations. So you can just simply then download this folder on your desktop and then upload it um, back to another system, either another Asus or another Termaster or different brands, Synology, QNAP, whatever. Um, so we can move on to more complicated uh, situations. So Synology, Asus Store and Termaster is easy. What is complicated is WD and QNAP because um, Plex is installed on a WD and QNAP at the back end, more on a, like a Linux backbound uh, so, uh, level. So you can't actually see Plex installations files when you log into your NAS. So what you will need to do is you'll need to connect uh, through like a backdoor 
to your uh, NAS system, which is actually running on the Linux right, the very deep, on a very deep level. So to do so, you'll need to enable something called uh, SSH. So it's going to be uh, a doorway to your NAS. So you'll need to go on WD to settings, go to network, and uh, make sure you um, switch the SSH, SSH to on mode and um, click on configure if it doesn't already show you a pop-up offering to put in a password. Make sure the password is um, com uh, quite complicated. Uh, if you're not trusting other users in the network, we could um, actually potentially harm <laughs> your NAS. Uh, the same on the QNAP, you go to control panel, uh, a network services, telnet SSH, and uh, click allow SSH connection. So pay attention as well on the port, this should be 22. Um, by default, uh, WD will already set the port 22. And remember also that when you have finished the transfers, go back to the settings and disable SSH because you're potentially opening a doorway for others, uh, local hackers, <laughs> to log into your uh, system and do some harm. Uh, the other thing what you will need to keep in mind is that when you are setting up this SSH, uh, pay attention what IP address you got. So WD is going to show the IP address there with a the QNAP. You can uh, just look above where is that URL, where is that web, um, website, an, an uh, IP address. You can remember that, write it down or copy because you will need to use that later to connect through the SSH. So once you have done these um, things, you move on to um, connection uh, uh, step. So you'll need to download something like WinSCP. It's a free software for Windows. You can install it and then you can connect to your NAS. So once you have installed it, you will need to put in the IP address in, in, in of WD or QNAP, whichever you connect, leave the port 22, choose SFTP protocol for WD. The username is, is going to be SSHD, that's the username, and password is going to be the password you provided in the previous step on a QNAP. Protocol is going to be SCP, IP address, whichever was in the URL bar, port 22, Username is going to be admin or any other admin level uh, user you have created on your QNAP. So you can use default admin and the password or any other username which has the same user rights. So once you have done that, you click um, save if you want to save it or click login if you want to log on to the NAS. So once you have done that on a WD, you will need to find this Plex uh, folder. So what you will need to do is just do a uh, click on double uh, a quote to go back to the home uh, level, to the root level of the folders, then find MNT, HD, HDA2, NAS, PROG, Plex, Conf. That's where it's going to be Plex server located. You'll need to copy this folder. On the, on the QNAP is going to be, uh, again, go back to the root, choose share, then cache dev one, depends how many volumes you got. Each volume is going to have its own identification number, like if you've got only one volume, it's going to be cache dev 1. If you've got two volumes, cache dev 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So make sure you select the correct one. And then go into QPKG, and then you'll find your Plex server folder there. Then what you can do, you can start copying. Either you copy to your um, Windows, or you can straight away create another connection. As you can see here, WD and QNAP are created. So you can do a transfer directly from WT to a QNAP if you want to. So you do right click of the folder, you want to uh, move to a new location and uh, choose a destination to another NAS. Or you can do that through your computer, that's up to you. And uh, that's it. That's when Once that is done, you can um, move on to a uh, Plex side of uh, things. So, if uh, also I actually forgot to mention if you want also move your videos not just uh, Plex um, metadata and Plex settings you you can do that through the web or uh, web browser or you can do that through the mapped drive so if you have mapped uh, your source NAS location and you have mapped your destination server location then you can just uh, use your Windows Explorer and do copy and paste and, and, and and copy everything over all those movies and films whatever you got there um, if you have stored them somewhere in a deeper level like um, 
WD, WD situation in the Plex folder, you can, you can again use WinSCP to move these uh, movie files over. It's up to you how you do that. But I would recommend to copy these files using map drives. That's going to be the fastest uh, way to do so. Or if you want to, you can actually map one NAS to another NAS uh, inside the uh, uh, QNAP or Synology or whatever settings. You can map actually another drive. So in that case, also the uh, files files will be, will be directly moved from one NAS to another. Similar to Windows CP, but Windows CP is encrypting, therefore slowing down this process when you're going to do transfers. Once you have done that, we can um, move to a new Plex. Make sure that you reboot the uh, destination system. Once you've done that, enable your Plex server, which was disabled earlier. Then um, launch Plex web application. Log in to that um, uh, with using your username and password. And then what you need to do is edit your library. So go to wherever you want to store your videos under which tab, whether it's videos or movies or something, three dots, uh, click on that, uh, click manage library, and then you can change a location. Because if you moved from WD to QNA, for example, uh, WD organizes um, the storing videos in different locations. So in this case, you can see shares, public shared folders. Uh, QNAP is not going to have the, uh, such a um, uh, sort of location for your videos unless it was, unless these videos were stored in the uh, Plex settings folder somewhere in that level, then yeah. But most likely you keep them somewhere separate. So you can change this location to a new location and it's going to work. Once you have done that, again, uh, you, you'll see also this um, scan library files, which means it's gonna whatever uh, locations you just provided is gonna go through, scan through, and and update all the metadata, and uh, everything is gonna be up to date at that point. And um, once you have done that, you have actually finished your moving, you, your exporting of your Plex, and you are ready to go. If you wanted to move from other systems, not Plex, or maybe uh, maybe something free NAS or or Thekus or something like that. These are the locations you would need to find your Plex at. So you can pause this video at this point and find your location and then use Windows CP to connect to this location and move your uh, Plex folder. Um, and that's about it. If you have any questions, you can go to uh, NAS Compares and fill form on the right hand side or send an email to info NAS Compares. And if the questions will be interesting, we can shoot a video like this and help others. I hope this was helpful and cheerio.